One of the first genetic engineering experiments was conducted by Stanley Cohen and Herbert Boyer in 1973. They showed that the gene for frog ribosomal RNA could be transferred and expressed in bacterial cells. The first step was to construct the plasmid vector called PSC-101. This constructed vector contained a single site for the restriction endonuclease ECOR1 and a gene for tetracycline resistance. The restriction endonuclease ECOR1 was used to cut the frog DNA into small fragments. Next, the frog DNA fragments were combined with the plasmid vector that had also been cut with ECOR1. The sticky ends of the DNA fragments aligned themselves and the segments were joined together using DNA ligase. Some plasmids incorporate genes other than the rRNA gene and some do not incorporate new pieces of DNA. The plasmids were then transferred into a tetracycline sensitive strain of Escherichia coli and plated onto a growth medium containing tetracycline. The cells that incorporated the plasmid carrying the tetracycline gene grow and form a colony of cells. Some of these colonies consist of cells that carry the frog ribosomal RNA gene. The researchers then tested the colonies that form after growth for the presence of frog ribosomal RNA. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video.